three planets. Plant. One afternoon, April was doing her homework when her father brought her a present. He handed her a funny looking plant called the picture plant. This is a special plant, he told her. It eats insects. Wow, April replied. That's cool. April took the plant up to the up to her room and set it on the window. She wanted to she wanted to get some sun. I'll be held, she said to the plant. She began to look at the little book that came with the plant. It showed pictures of flies and spiders being eaten by the plant. April learned that she was only supposed to be held once a week. Earl went downstairs and outside. She looked around the yard and found a small anthill. She cut some of the ants in a jar and took them to her room. April poured the ants into the into the pan tank and waited a one and crawled into the plant's kitchen and got stuck. It was trapped by hairs inside the pitcher. People thought the way Hill ate insects was really strange, but she liked him on her way out. She grabbed some jelly beans from a jar on her dresser. Hill saw this and wondered what jelly bean might taste like. Flies and ants are nice, but a red jelly bean would be very nice. The next time Hale saw April bringing him some ants, he thought about the jelly beans. She always ate Mama. ants Mama. and ants. The next week, April brought Harold a sad wizzy worm. She dropped the worm straight into his kitchen. It was a nice treat for him. After one, only eating ants for the last few weeks. But he still wanted a red jelly, jelly bean. A week later, April brought Harold more insects. Harold thought about jelly beans. He thought and thought as hard as he could. Jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans, jelly beans. He repeated the, the thought over and over. April ate a couple of jelly beans before feeding Harold more insects. When April opened the lid to Harold's home, she only had a couple of small spiders. Harold was disappointed that she didn't feed him a red jelly bean. But he was very hungry. He felt grateful that April fed him so well, yet he really wanted a jelly bean. That night when April was going to bed, she ate a jelly bean before brushing her teeth. Then she took another one, a red one, and placed it into Harold's pitcher. Harold was so excited that his leaves began to shake. The jelly bean was smooth and kind of hard. As it sat inside the pitcher, it became soft and sticky. The flavor began to ooze out. It tasted so, so, so sweet, so wonderful, he felt himself glow with joy.
The next day, Abel noticed that Hale looked happy. Hi there, Hale, she said. You sure look happy today. Did you like the jelly bean? Hale tried to smile by curling one of his sleeves. He felt very happy. He really enjoyed his jelly bean. From that day on, Hale got one red jelly bean each week. Each week. It was a midweek. Treat between regular meals, he grew bigger and stronger. Soon he was big enough to eat crickets and grasshoppers. Abel and Hale were good friends. Hale even got to go to school with her once for a long time. That day, he only got a cricket to eat. A couple of days later, the thought he got a green jelly bean. Wow, thought Hill. All the colors are tasty. As much as Hill loved all the colors of jelly beans, red ones were still his favorite.